Billy Harris, you're hanging with Harris. We're at the Mile End Deli in New York City, my good friends Ray and Noah. Burn them off. How are you, kids? Hanging with, with Harris. First question, why is it called the Mile End Deli? It's a neighborhood of Montreal where Noah's grandparents emigrated to, where he grew up, where we met and lived together before moving down here. Canadians. Are you a chef? Are you a culinary guy? No, I'm a law school dropout. That's my official title. He actually started curing and smoking meat as a hobby. On our that was your hobby, in curing and smoking meat. Well, you know, like as a kid, you have hobbies. Like you play sports, you learn how to play <laughs> you the piano. You smoked meat. So I, I ran out of things to do. What was the first thing you smoked? Brisket. I, mean, brisket. I, I mean, we made smoked meat, which is like our version of pastrami. What's your favorite um, thing on the menu? Be honest. I, I, have, I have two favorites. Right. Uh, one is the chicken salad sandwich, and poutine is the other thing the that poutine. I'm really also I'm healthy. Really big. Yeah, exactly. It's actually, the poutine was once in like a New York Post article about the least healthy foods and in New York City. It, and, and that was one of the things so it's that fries it. with French fries with cheese curd and gravy. All right, so Ray, I'm going to take your little husband here and we're going to go in the kitchen. Yeah, cool. we'll make Enjoy. some stuff. All right. What are we going to make? We're making poutine. All right, so how do we assemble this here? So, this super healthy dish here. So you basically just take your fries. Like that. Into the bowl. So now this is cheese curd, cheese right? Cheese curd, yeah. So this is what happens when the milk gets acidified and turns With heat, into, right? They separate it and do the thing. Se yeah, they do the thing, and you end up with these little little chunks, these little elastic-y chunks of cheddar cheese. So I assume the gravy that I'm, uh, the au jus here, we're going to uh, yeah, add the, on top the, of the this? The gravy goes right on top. It's a chicken, it's uh, made with chicken stock. Of course it is. So, so I'm going to do this? Yeah. How far do you go on this with this? I, I like to like play tic tac toe with yeah. And you let the gravy melt the cheese and down. The, the hot gravy melts the cheese down a little bit, but you I don't want the cheese to be too melty. That's because you we want don't... the chunks. Yeah, so that's it. Should that I try it? You get a little gravy, a little fry, a little cheese. I like this. God, that's good. That's really good, and then the cheese melts down a little more. All right, this is the poutine. You got the fries. You got the. Gravy yeah. and the cheese curd. Unbelievable. Yeah. Let's do chicken salad, which Let's is our, our deli version of chicken salad. We start here. Small portion there. Of, small portion of challah. Toast. Challah toast. Challah toast. And you can see it's toasted on this side on the flat top with schmaltz, which is rendered chicken fat. So this we make with uh, the chickens that we use to make all the chicken soup and yeah, chicken sure. and yeah. gravy that we we make. So delicious. Start with um, putting it down on the, on the toasted side. This way you, the sandwich doesn't collapse on itself. Got it. But here's the secret weapon. This is grivenous. It, oh, it is grivenous. Which Chick is? Chicken skins. It is chicken skins. Yeah. What do you, you uh... Well, we, we, we render them down and then they, they sort of, we, we crunch them up so that we, you know, we don't have to. Like, Add that little extra something. Is like, cause, you know, they're like big pieces. So yes, they are. We crunch them up so that they like, so they the really get in there. The on the toasted hollow with the grivenous. So we got pickled, pickled cucumbers, pickled peppers. These are quick pickles. You can pretty um, much pickle anything. Yeah, we, we pickle everything ourselves here, and then schmaltzy side down. All right, so this is the infamous chicken salad, which you're going to cut, and then I'm going to try. Go. It's a healthy looking sandwich. That's it's a big boy. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get in on it. That's the term. Oh boy. I was gonna say, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> The best part is you get that crunch. But you know what's really nice with the pickles because then you bring out the sweet. Fatty, sweet, crunchy. Everything anyone needs. Okay, chicken salad sandwich, amazing. Done. Smoke meat, so. This is how it started in your backyard. This is this is the thing that started it all. Or your closet, something like that. Straight up brisket, smoked for 16 hours, steamed for another two, three, and as always, hand sliced. Hand sliced. Yeah. That is the rule. That is the rule. And this is the smoked meat sandwich straight up. You do it on rye, that kind of thing? Rye bread with mustard. Rye with mustard. Do you even mustard the bread or just the meat on the bread and the guests uh, can do it the way they want? I, you know, I like to, I do the mustard at the end. Yes, this would be a Jewish sandwich, right? They would. Yeah, you gotta get that extra. Of course you have to the get that. A little crumbles. Uh-huh. Oh my God. On the bread or right on the sandwich? You know, the, the, it's on the sandwich is too, a little too... Uh, too much. Well, you never know where it's gonna go. It's gonna drip, it's gonna do its own this thing. Is it, right? That's it. Right on top. Boom. Knife? Yeah, go Brisket for it. knife. All right, smoked meat sandwich. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> My one, Kelly. Noah, hanging with Harris. Harris. You are hanging with Harrison. Bond Street and in Brooklyn, 
when you're in New York City, come visit us. See you real soon.